Canada's governmental system is made up of three branches, the legislative, the executive, and the judicial. The legislative branch, Parliament, which makes Canada's laws, consists of the Queen, represented by the Governor-General, the Senate, and the House of Commons. The executive branch consists of the Governor in Council, that is, the Governor-General acting by and on the advice of the Prime Minister and Cabinet to implement the laws, establish national policies, and conduct international relations. The judicial branch interprets and applies the laws. It is made up of the Supreme Court, the Federal Court, and the Provincial Courts. The judicial branch is wholly independent from the legislative and the executive branches. The Governor General serves as Canada's head of state, acting in the name of the Queen. Since 1952, all of the Governors General have been Canadians. Appointed on the recommendation of the Prime Minister, they usually serve for a period of five years. The Governor General ensures that there is always a government to serve Canada, summons and dissolves Parliament, opens each parliamentary session with a speech from the throne, and gives royal assent to bills, thereby making them law. House of Commons, also known as the Lower House, has 308 members, each of whom represent one electoral division. Members representing the government and those in the opposition express the views of their constituents, debate questions of national interest, study bills and vote on them. Since members of the House of Commons are elected, all debates on bills related to public spending and taxation are raised here. The Senate, the Upper House of Parliament, plays an important role in Canada's bicameral parliamentary system. Its members examine, amend, reject, or approve bills adopted by the House of Commons. Senators also introduce bills, with the exception of those proposing to spend public funds or impose taxes, commonly called money bills, which must originate in the House of Commons. No bill can become law until the Senate has passed it. One of the major functions of the Senate is to represent the interests of Canada's regions, its provinces and territories, as well as its minority groups. At the time of Confederation, Senate seats were distributed in such a way that each major region of the country had the same level of representation.